Welcome to a new video from APC Mastery Path. This is Mo, and I'm glad to be presented today. This video belongs to a series of videos where we're going to be discussing the data that we receive on a daily basis in the construction realm, and how we can transform the data into a more enhanced format that is easy to analyze and process. In today's video, we're going to be exploring how we can transform a hierarchy into a database. Our video today is going to be composed of three parts. The first part is a problem statement. The second part is methods to think about the solution. The third part is going to be implementing the solution. In today's video, we're going to be making the best use of adding custom columns and power query and utilizing group by for further processing. And now, without further ado, let's get started. So the data that we possess today is a hierarchy. It's an extract from NRM, which is the neurons of measurement provided by the RACS. And as you can see on the screen, it contains various levels, but we need to understand further how these levels are mapped together. So what we're going to be after is transforming what's existing in column H to be a database like this in Power Query. And now let's explore how we can do this. So in a previous video, what we have done is we have got the hierarchy in column B and we needed to understand how the header levels are mapped. And then we split out the header levels in four different columns because the highest level of hierarchy here in NRM1 stops at level four. And then we made the best use of nested ifs, switch and ifs to build a database like this, which can be summarized for further processing. I'll put the link for that video in the description below. But now we want to do it in bar query. So the solution starts by understanding how we can convert that range into a table and there's an easy way to do this. You can select the range by clicking on the first cell and then press Ctrl Shift and down arrow and then we're going to press Ctrl T to convert it into a table and the table indeed contains headers so we're going to press OK. In order to make the table more meaningful let's go to table design tab up top and then change the name of it to be hierarchy dataset and then press enter. And then let's open Power Query. So we have to go to Data Tap and then click on From Table or Range, and we're going to be importing that table in Power Query. So the first step in Power Query that we need to undertake is understanding what are the header levels. And the way to do this is fairly simple. We want to split the data by the dots. The number of dots denote what is the level. So if we have no dots, that's level one. If we have one dot, that's level two. If we have two dots, that's level three. And if we have three dots, that's level four. That condition is only in this data set. It might be the same in your case or might be different. So you have to figure out a way to understand how the header levels can be defined. We can go to add column and then custom column. And then we're going to call the column header levels. And in here, we're going to be using a function called text.split so that we can split the text and the delimiter is going to be the dot. That's just going to only split the text, but we want to understand how many dots are there. So we can wrap this function into another function called list.count because the split text is going to be split in an array or in different columns, which can be treated as an array. So we're going to be counting the number of cells in this array. And if you do this and press OK, close of all of them brackets, you will have all of them levels defined as you can see on the screen. Having created the custom column in step one, which gives us what is the corresponding level for each and every single row, it's now time to split these rows into four different columns. And the way to do this is fairly simple. We go to add column, and then custom column and let's start with NRM1 level 1 and the formula is fairly simple if the added custom we're going to be renaming this is equal to 1 then give me the item description otherwise it's a null and we can do this four times but I'm going to show you how to do it in a way that is much more efficient and scalable so let's press ok it did that perfectly fine if you go to the advanced editor and then we can manipulate lots of them things here so let's call this header levels and let's call the first added custom to be NRM1 
level one and we have to make sure that every step is being reflected in the next steps we're going to be changing that added custom to be header levels and here also the added custom we're going to be changing it to be header levels as the name of the column and what we're going to be doing here is i'm going to be copying that column three times so account for levels two three and four and we're going to be editing each and every single line accordingly and making sure that the in echoes the last step in our query so that one here which is going to be level four and here you go we managed to create the four different levels and we made sure that every step is reflected in the next step as you can see here and then the last step is reflected or echoed in the in and then if you press done you'll find that we have here the header levels identified and each and every single level is having the corresponding row and now the last piece of the puzzle is doing the filling down which is going to be discussing in a bit and now the last piece of the puzzle is doing the filling down so let's remove the unnecessary columns the filling down is going to be working perfectly fine for level one because it's not dependent on any other level so let's do that now so go to transform and then fill down and as you can see it filled down perfectly fine there's no problem whatsoever but you'll find that there are some problems when you go to level two and if we press fill down you will see that it filled down incorrectly so we're going to be removing that one here we're going to just be doing the level one fill down and for levels two and three we're going to adopt a way level four doesn't require any sort of filling down because it's the last level of the hierarchy so the only two levels that we are going to have to tweak are levels two and three we're going to be making the best use of a concept called group by we can go to home and then you'll find group by group by it dissects the table into many tables grouped by a specific column we're going to be grouping by NRM1 level 1 and let's call it group by NRM1 hierarchy for argument's sake and then we're not going to do any operations there are a wide variety of operations that we can do here we're just going to be getting all the rows and then we're going to be pressing OK and as you can see here for each and every single NRM level 1 there's a mini table that you can find below here what we need to do is fill down in each and every single level level 4 again doesn't require any filling down as you can see here for each and every single level one there is a table there is a corresponding table we're going to be doing this incrementally because level two is dependent on level one level three is dependent on level two so we can't do levels two and three in one hit we're going to have to do it in two steps so let's start first with nrm1 level two up here after the word each you'll find an underscore the underscore means for every row so we're going to be doing an array formula so table dot fill down and then we're going to make the best use of that underscore and what is the aspect that we need to be filling down it's actually the nrm1 level 2 and i put it in curly brackets because i'm dealing with it as a list because it's it's an array within that table if i pressed enter and i went to let's say here you will find that everything was filled down correctly we're going to be repeating that again for interim level three so let's remove that column we don't need it anymore and let's expand so i'm not going to be using the original column name as a prefix i just want the four levels again so you'll find that level one and two are filled correctly and as you can see here level two stopped at the correct place it didn't overfill. for level three it's going to be a bit cheeky because we're going to be doing the group by using two columns so we're going to be pressing on group by go to advanced and then the first grouping by is going to be by level one and then add grouping it's going to be by level two we're going to be calling it nrm1 level one and two and it's going to be grouping by them and then it's going to be all rows we're going to press enter and we're going to do the same exact trick here so table dot fill down and then for every row and then determine the column that we want to fill down which is nrm1 level three and if i went to the very end by pressing control end and then I press enter and let's pick one up for example 2.1 you will find that the fill down here on level three is working perfectly fine it's not overflowing at all and what we're going to do is just remove these two columns again and when we expand we're going to be expanding the four of them everything is filled down correctly let's check that one for argument's sake so 2.2.1 is filled down I'm until here and it's stopping at 2.3 we can definitely do some tweaking in the advanced editor 
by changing the names to make more sense, that's completely up to you. I would prefer to do this. One last thing to keep in mind, it might be worthy to know about it. When you see the advanced editor, the query looking like this, it's really hard to follow, especially that if you have a smaller screen or if you have a very complex and lengthy formula like the group by. So there is a way to format it in a much better way. There's a website called powerqueryformatter.com forward slash formatter, which you can go there and then we can copy the whole query that we possess pressing Control C and then go here, choose everything and then press Control V. You will find the messy query. If you press on the format or press Control Enter, you will have it in a much better way. And now let's copy and paste the whole query, Control A and then pressing Control C and go to our advanced editor and then Control A, Control V. And now it's much better because we can add also some comments for auditability purposes. If you press done, nothing changes really, it's just the documentation. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you found this video useful and insightful. I've prepared a couple of them other videos about fine tuning large language models and deploying them to open web UI. I'm gonna be putting the links in the description below. You can also pay my website a visit at www.apcmasterypath.co.uk where I provide multiple packages for the RSS APC candidates to support them throughout their RSCS journey. Also, I provide lots of insights about the RSS APC process, the different areas of competence, and how you can deploy AI within the construction industry. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe so that you get notified about our latest videos.